Hello Kaiju fans, today is another box day and this time it is fortunately one that is a little bit more typical and anyone can get one of these guys. So what we have here is the NECA King Kong and I picked this up from Target. Now it seems like it's something that you can pick up really easily but I've been looking for about, I don't know, two months on and off and it's always sold out. Or when I asked the person at the counter they said, oh we had some earlier in the week. I said, oh great, this, and I asked them, so when do they come in? They never know. I think the answer is they come in whenever they come in, and you got to be there at the right time. So for this one, I ended up just calling this morning. I was actually looking for some Godzilla stuff, and they said, no Godzilla stuff, but they had one Kong. So I told them to hold it, and I ended up going down there and picking it up. So anyways, this is a typical you know, NECA release, and the figure is roughly about... He looks like he's a good eight inches tall. So this looks like he's based on the classic Kong, the 1933 Kong. He's got scratches on his chest, but I think it's not from it's not from Godzilla. But I think I think for us we can we can pose it next to the NECA Godzilla, and that's pretty cool. And he has an interchangeable head and hands. So I'm actually gonna open this up and I'm gonna see how he looks out of the box. So there we have it. It's the NECA King Kong by. NECA. All right, let's check it out. Hey guys, I, I also just got this Kong in the mail. The one on the left and it's the, the variant, the color variant version. It's the same figure other than the color. Just wanted to show you the box. The variant has some green and red and greenish hues to the skin or the fur. And that's the main difference. So now we're going to move on to the regular review now. Okay, so here we have Kong out of the box and packaging, and he looks pretty cool. The detail looks pretty good. It, you can see all the lines on his fur, and he's got a pretty good range of articulation. I don't have him standing really well. I don't know what's going on with his left foot, but he's standing. And as I said earlier, he does come with interchangeable hands. And he has another mouth that looks like he is roaring even more aggressively. So let's pause right here. So here we have Kong. I've added some additional lighting. I just hope it's not, I'm not overdoing it. But he does look pretty cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch his arms and, and put the other head on as well. All right, I went ahead and switched out the head and and the hands. The previous hands were were closed or clenched fist, and the other head was open, but not as wide as this one here. Well, here is comparison number one, and this is the NECA 2019 Godzilla. And I'm actually surprised how big Kong is. So evidently, these are two different scales, being that the NECA Godzilla are roughly six, six inch tall, and the Kong is about almost eight. Wow, if we had this version of Kong, it might have been a fair battle. For comparison number two, we have the recent release by Bandai, and that's the legendary Kong right there on the right. And that's the six inch scale or six inch line. So actually, the NECA six inch and the Bandai six inch actually go pretty nicely. So for our third comparison, I brought the Bandai 2002 Godzilla. And that is, that's roughly eight to nine inches tall. So they actually scale good. So we can have a dream matchup right here. Right uppercut by Kong. My final quick word on this NECA King Kong is that I think it's a, it's a good value with adequate detail and paint. I think it's actually good. 
I would say better than adequate. I think I think youngsters and adults alike will have fun posing this guy and having some battle scenes. You can take some pictures. And I think it's pretty durable too. I mean, I, I yanked the head and the hands off and I, and I snapped them right back in. There's no, no problem. But I would still be a little bit careful because those pieces can be subject to wear like anything else. So that's it folks. My quick review is that I think it's a pretty good figure. It's cool and I'm glad I finally got one. Now I'm going to be back to taking some more pictures. So, all right, hope you guys liked the review. Stand by for more. Check us out at Kaiju Collectors on Facebook and also our other YouTube channel, Monsters with Attitude. Thanks a lot and take care. Bye-bye.